Two and a half months ago, Deb and I moved to an active adult community in Valencia, California. Our home faces the San Francisco Creek. Although our yard is small, we enjoy seeing and hearing nature up close and personal every day. Many birds and squirrels come to our feeders. A paved walking and biking path separates us from the dry creek bed. The sunsets are amazing. Sometimes there are evening runners, but usually it's quiet with only the sounds of crickets, crows, and coyotes. This video shows my daily adventures along this creek and up the canyon to the town of Green Valley, a trailhead for the Pacific Crest Trail, which goes from Canada to Mexico. I walk this trail every morning. An app on my phone helps me learn about the plants and animals I encounter. This is a valley oak, a threatened endemic native. Wow, it can live up to 600 years. Its large sweet acorns are a favorite food of wildlife. So many interesting things to see on this trail. Oh, Eliotes! My favorite little beetle. How you doing, guy? How are you? I'm not gonna hurt you, man. You're the cutest ever. You have to try to find a spot to hide, huh? Okay, you go on your way. Just watched an interesting life and death struggle between an ant and a spider, right down there and the ant just got away. Let me show you a replay of what I just saw. This spider species hunts for ants by quietly waiting until an ant comes by and then jumps, wrapping its prey in sticky, elastic, strong spider silk. Spider silk is five times stronger than steel of the same diameter. The spider keeps wrapping and wrapping the ant in silk. She appears to be winning. Each wrap of silk 
makes it harder and harder for the ant to escape. The ant keeps struggling, but to no avail. Finally, the spider stops wrapping and steps away, perhaps for the ant to give up. The ant does not give up. And finally, strand by strand, each strand is broken. The ant is free, but then again steps into the silk and has to struggle a little bit more to get away. The moral to the story is if you have a problem that you keep struggling with, don't give up. Break it down into pieces, step back, and you may just get away. You may just solve the problem. There's signs along the trail that say restoration area, please stay on the trails, caution snakes, and uh, don't walk in those areas. So I'll stay on the trail, and horses use this trail also. This is good exercise to strengthen your ankles and your legs because the surface is uneven and soft. There's lots of natural vegetation and plants that are adapted to living in arid areas. Yay! My app told me what it is. This is a chaparral yucca. Wow. Apps nowadays tell you all sorts of things. Let's see if I can figure out what this is. What do you think? Want a closer look? This is the chemise. Chemise plant. It's a widespread chaparral plant. It's all over the west. Beautiful. I'm going to climb up there and then look at our house from a different perspective and you'll see some of the trails that I hope to explore in the chaparral. Oh man, this is exciting. But if this is a steep hillside, 
have to watch out for rattlesnakes. But I don't think I'll see any. Oh man, I need to put the phone down and then I'll get up to the top. I climbed up here, but how am I gonna get down? And it always seems steeper going down than it did coming up. And that's the trail that goes behind our house, the paved trail for the bikers and the hikers. I love this place. And that dry river bed, fantastic. And our house is right in the center here. Let's see. Right there, right in the middle. That's where we live. I'll be scrambling on all fours. That's the safest way to get down a, a cliff like this. Man, this is so much fun. I love it. I'm remembering all these plants. You know, 50 years ago, I used to know this, and now I'm back home. I love it. I love the smell, the dryness of the air, the beauty. There's nothing better. Oh man, I love this. Well, this gets pretty steep, but I can still scramble. Yeah, I can, just like I did when I was a kid. What's important when you're walking like this is you put one foot in front of the other, and only when that this foot is stable do you move the next foot, because static friction is greater than dynamic friction. And once you start to slide, you continue sliding. And when I get to a point where it's steeper down here, I get down on all fours, and that will increase my contact with the ground, so I won't slide. There's a trick to this. And I want to start sliding. And you can't hold on to this vegetation because most of it's dead. But it's dead above ground. It'll come back in the spring after we get a little bit of rain.
Oh look, somebody built a shelter here with rocks around the base and dead limbs. Wow. And over here, there's a swing. Can you believe that? Man, I'm gonna try it. It looks like it will hold me, maybe. But boy, this is such a beautiful place. Oh, and there are birds in the tree. I guess they may want some food. I don't know. I'm going to stop here and eat my lunch. This is awesome. Simply awesome. You know, I had to try the swing out. See it up there? It's holding me. This is so much fun. I'm so glad I went exploring. And it's only 12 minutes from home. Go outside. Enjoy nature. You'll never know what you'll find. running water. In spite of the drought, we still have water. Wow. It'll be super fun to explore this canyon. Oh wow. I usually go on foot 
to check it out and you can see much more than, than driving the Jeep. We'll spend the morning. Everything's so beautiful. This is a holly leaf cherry. Beautiful leaves. Can't wait to see these plants at different times of the year. And the trees are western sycamores. I love the autumn. I love every season of the year. This is just spectacular. The road's sandy, but it looks compacted enough to easily drive. Oh, see the mistletoe up there? Yeah. Love it, love it, love it. The changes in color between the bottom of the canyon and, and the drier uh, cliffs and it's just unbelievable beauty. The air is clean and crisp and quiet and never so often I hear a few birds. More mistletoe. Oh look, manzanita with the red trunks. Let's get a close up of that. And there you can see some of the trunks there. Anyway, this is just spectacular. Let's go back to, yeah. Love the clouds, look at them. Clouds have a lot of ice crystals. You can see over here where there's a little bit of sliding of the sand. Oh, oh yeah, beautiful.
those trees up there look interesting. I think I'll see if they're a good place to have lunch. Looks like there's a trail through here. Uh, the trail still goes up there, but it's uh, pretty rough, so I've got to put the phone down. But man, an interesting place. What a beautiful place to have lunch. The weather couldn't get any better. Slight breeze. I'm in the shade of wonderful trees. Exceedingly awesome, <laughs> if that's such a thing. Exceedingly awesome. Question, are you, all of you from Canada? No, no, no. no, no. You're from Canada. I'm from you're... actually from Southern California. Oh. But we start in Canada, come all the way down to Mexico. <laughs> and, and you're being positive? And yeah, you... I grew up in Central Cal and I live in Oregon right now. Oh, that is so cool. <laughs> He's bear, bear hug? Yeah. Oh, cool. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm from Texas. Coming back after 50 years, I spent 50 years away in Texas, and then I'm back home here. And then, and, and I wanted to do a section of this trail. You want to come with us? Come on. You can come. Come on. Yeah, yeah. I, I would later, but to tell my wife. This is so cool. And that's how I knew Gabby picked us. I'm Mr. Roboto. Mr. Roboto. Yeah, Arizona. Arizona. You're doing the whole trail too? I'm working on it. <laughs> Thank you. 
Enjoy. It's time to sit down and rehydrate. Mm. Nothing is better than water when you're thirsty. This is sure exciting. This trail is awesome. I can't wait. My daughter wants to go on a section hike with me of the Pacific Crest Trail. And so I'm checking this part out. Lucky me. I'll show you the scenery right here. This is my view, and the trail leads around up the hills, and maybe, just maybe, there is a bunch of pine trees up there. Let's see if I can get it closer. Do you see them up there? Maybe the trail goes near the pine tree. That's normal view. White angle. I like white angle. Marker and a road. And the trail crosses the road and continues. Wow, what a view! The Mojave Desert on one side and the chaparral and pine trees on the other side. This is a classic example of the rain shadow effect. Well, let's see. I think I'll go just a little bit further up the trail. Here's where the trail continues and everything is well marked. Oh, the shade of oak trees. I 
I love it. It's time to end the day. I need to get back home and do a few things, but uh, this is gonna be a great trail to hike. I don't know what section of, maybe this one with my daughter. I'll enjoy the desert on one side and the wet area such as it is on the other side, the green chaparral. Well, I made it to the trailhead. Wait for the trucks and cars. Look at this. Duck, duck is cheap. Jeep ducking is a way to bring smiles on people's faces and a fun way to make someone's day. If you find a rubber duck on your Jeep, pass it on to another Jeep for the owner to find. The hope is that they will pass a picture of the duck on social media and pass the duck along to keep the game going. Until next time, peace and be safe. Enjoy. <laughs>